Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your singles reading. Who's coming towards me for December? This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. This is intended for singles. So if you're, even if you're just dating somebody or um, just have to be not committed in any way, it could be somebody you know. It could be uh, so, totally somebody new. So we're going to see what we get here. We're going to look at a couple signs, pull a couple signs for you. We'll get an energy of this person. Who are they? possibly coming towards you, when and where, a like time frame of year, where and how you may meet this person, what kind of connection it will be, advice for the connection, and then we'll pull more tarot to fully clarify the whole situation. So let's see what's coming in for Cancer. And this also is for any time you see this until whenever, even though it's dated December, I do consider all my readings on my channel timeless. So whenever you see this, it's good tell whenever. So let's see what we get here. Hope everybody's doing well. And this reading will probably be posted right on Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving, and I hope you had a wonderful day, or you will have a wonderful day um, with friends and family. All right, Cancer, let's see what's coming in for you. Let's coming in for Cancer. A couple signs for Cancer Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Cancer singles at this time, that one and that one. All right, let's see what we have. We have, well, we have Mercury, which is Gemini, and we have Pluto, which is Scorpio. So Mercury is all about the mind, communication, clear thinking, ideas, and that kind of energy. And Pluto is about life, death, rebirth, sex, power, control, all those kind of energies so that may have nothing to do with your reading but for signs we have mercury and we have scorpio okay so let's see let's see who this person is coming into the cancer singles what is their energy like who are they for cancer singles Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Cancer Singles. Who is... Let's wait. Well, we'll take that one. Oh, so, this is somebody I feel like who is very... They could be a parent. They could be a single parent. Somebody you'd be able to trust. They're very trustworthy. They really do value and appreciate their friends and family. Um... They could be emotional or just have a lot of deep feelings and emotions. Uh, someone could be very like a happy, joyous kind of person also. So it's a nice energy. It's a nice energy. Um, they could be a musician because this man is playing guitar. It could be male, female, doesn't matter. They could be a musician or it could be a hobby. All right, let's see. So when, let's get a time frame of when you could possibly meet this person. So we have summer, summer energy. We got two cards of summer here. Okay, so I definitely see this person as a happy, joyous, kind of go lucky kind of person. They could, you know, they could have very, not over emotional, but they do have a lot of feelings and emotions. But I feel like they're very happy and joyous. They're uh, very trustworthy. They have a lot of value in their friends and family. And like I said, they could be a single parent or they're wanting a family. All right, so let's see here, like where you could meet this person, under what conditions. Okay, so we could have <laughs> the chariot here. So you could be driving in your, and this is your energy. Chariot is cancer. So it could be, driving in your car. <laughs> it's how you meet this person. Uh, you could be riding together. You could be taking a bus, taking a train, flying, uh, flying on a plane together. Somewhere where there's travel involved is where you're going to meet this person while you're traveling. Okay. So you could be going on vacation, traveling, but I think it's in the act of traveling is how you're going to meet this person. All right, so let's see how, how. So 
so you could stop and take a break like if you're road like if you're cross country traveling or just driving traveling you could stop and take a break like near a field or um, a grassy area a park or something like that or maybe you take a break and you stop and you go do a little bit of sightseeing and I think uh, you're probably going to meet that per that person this way also. It could be some sort of uh, challenge that you come across while you're traveling also. Because it says um, challenges lie ahead and that kind of energy. I'm getting like you get a flat tire or something and maybe this person pulls over to help you to help you change your tire or something happens with your car. Or something like that and this person stops to help you if you're traveling by car um, if not it could be something else while in the process of traveling traveling there could be a little issue and this person kind of helps in some way and I'm feeling that's how you meet this person okay so let's see so what kind of connection will this be so if you're planning on traveling, really pay attention to people around you. <laughs> All right. Let's get what kind of connection this will be. What kind of connection this will be between the two of you. What kind of connection will this be for Cancer Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Time to move on. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. So again, move. So I'm getting movement and travel. I'm not I'm not really getting like moving on from this. I'm getting that if you're in a situation now that's not serving you, that's what you could be moving away from also. Or you're just getting away just to think about things, spend some time alone, and in that process, um, the new comes in, which is this person. That is kind of like the Eight of Cups energy, like walking away from something, but then you kind of can walk to something more fulfilling. Okay. So I'm getting, you know, I'm not getting like energy of like moving away from this person. I feel like you may be moving on from something in your life now, and then you unexpectedly run into this person here. And it's like an instant, uh, like emotional bond in some way. Um, like you have that emotional connection in some way. All right. So let's see your advice. Let's see your advice in this connection. Let's see your advice in this connection. I'm really getting the energy here because we have the nine of spring, which is an energy of, um, you know, you've been through it and you're like, you're almost like had enough because one more would be the 10, which would be like ending the burden. So I feel like you're at that point where you're almost ready to end something and just move on from it. And maybe, you know, getting away and thinking about things, you run into this person and you're like, wow, you know, who is this person? It's like they make you happy, like all of a sudden. Because I do feel like the four of summer is like bored energy. So I do feel like where, wherever you are now, you're bored. And by getting away here, you meet a person. All right, so let's get advice for you, Cancer. Go for your dreams exactly so <laughs> i think you're going to see this person and they're going to be like a dream and you're going to be like oh my god like this is my dream come true person they're just happy lively bubbly uh full of energy and positive and um it's just like wow it's like <laughs> it's like you want to be around their energy all the time wow okay so let's get some tarot on this and this is telling you to go for it. So spirits, like, go for it. If you feel like it's time to move on for so from something uh, and get away, 
this is where you're gonna how you're gonna meet this person the new will come in for you and it'll be like your dream come true here i do definitely see you bored wherever you are now whatever relationship you're in now and this person has the ability to bring you total fulfillment in every single way all right so so I do ask Cancer, if you do like how I read, if you're new, to please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month for every sign, and they're all different. You can browse my channel, check it out. You like what you see, subscribe and hit the bell, and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. And check the description box below. Tons of stuff there, personal reading information, a lot of stuff. And thank you to everybody who supported the channel, supported me in any way. Thank you, thank you. It's truly appreciated. Couldn't do without you guys. So thank you so much. So let's get these. So we got one, two, three, four, five. I want a couple more. That's too many. I'm feeling that one and that one. All right. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, the three of swords energy here. So this this is the before tarot. So this is almost a heartbreaking situation but not quite yet. So I, yeah, I feel like by you taking up root, taking up, taking action, getting out of the situation that I think you're in now, which if you stay in it, I think these three swords here are going to definitely pierce this heart and uh, it'll be more painful the longer you wait. Yeah, going in, in a better direction, yeah, traveling. Again with the traveling. So I do feel like yeah, you'll be traveling whether it's by boat, whatever here, going into a better place. Yeah, because you're the longer you stay where you are, the more trapped you're going to be. So yeah, listening to your gut and your intuition, knowing there's something better out there for you, that you can reach for it. Go for your dreams. Go for it. Very passionate new beginning here. Exciting. Yep, listening to your gut and your intuition, knowing it's time to leave here before you become more trapped, more stuck, and be even more hurtful the longer you wait. So taking up root, taking action here, moving forward. All right, let's see what we have here. So we have the four of pentacles. So again, that energy of being stuck and stagnant, like still holding on to where you are now. Maybe it's practical. Maybe it's safe. It's comfortable. So it's the energy of like holding on, holding back, just like, you know, maybe it's just a stable situation for now but and definitely you could you could be married or just in a committed relationship the four of wands here but this could also be the energy of this new person coming in that this could be your this could possibly be a twin flame or a soulmate that could lead to marriage and a solid commitment and stability here two fours the fool so this is taking the leap of faith you know getting ready to take that leap we have that all that energy under here of taking up root taking action moving on because you just feel like it's time the longer you stay the longer you get trapped the more hurtful it's going to be so now you're realizing you know i need to get up here and reset myself at zero and take the leap of faith and just jump right in do what's best for me yeah having a, an epiphany here a tower moment you know, might just be a confrontation wherever you are now saying, look, you know, shaking it up. I think it's time for me to move on here. Because you're ready to start a whole new chapter here and the world can be about traveling again. So we have travel again, closing out cycles and new cycles starting with soulmate energy there. You see these two lovers, uh, you know, in each other's arms. So you do have the potential here to close out a karmic cycle that's no longer serving you. It's just kind of stuck still and stagnant. And move forward in a new direction that will lead you to your soulmate. Taking that risk, taking that leap. And there's success and victory here. And here's an offer coming in right here. And the offer being accepted also. So, so yeah, I do see success and victory here with a new soulmate, which possibly down the road, could lead to long-term commitment, even marriage, because the four of wands is about marriage. You could be married now or just in a long-term commitment now, but I feel it's just like stuck and stale. And there you go, happy home and family. And I had felt that the sun energy 
enlightenment that this person, new person may want a family. They may want, if they're not a single parent, they may just want a family. And maybe you want a family and the person you're with now doesn't. And maybe that's just like one more straw that may break the camel's back. And you're like, you know what? I want, the sun is all about children, happiness, happy home and family, um, success and victory. You see a child here, um, you know, so... Yep, so I do feel like this person coming in for you will give you everything you've ever wanted, everything you've ever dreamed of with the um, go for your dreams here. But you have to get out of this energy that you may be stuck in. If you're not stuck in a relationship, you could just be just single and just kind of stuck and bored and not really dating, but it's time to get you, get yourself out there, time to move on in a new direction. Instead of being like the forest summer energy, kind of bored and complacent. Because you have the happiest card in the deck here with the sun energy coming in for you with an offer. And being very successful, victorious in a new cycle in life. But something has to end first with the tower so that you can take this leap of faith to a possible soulmate to inflame commitment here. And getting out of this stuck energy. Wow, it's a lot of energy there. Ooh, okay, so Cancer, uh, good luck to you, and I hope this resonated for you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings, and as I always say with my channel, as with the sun energy here, so always, always shine your light.